Hey friends, have you gotten your hands on some of the Shore Living Collection from the Dollar Tree? You're going to want to take a look at this video for the most amazing summer collection. Hey friends, it's Nikki here with Stillwater's Reef Designs. And I'm not sure if he's in camera, but Abel, my trusty um, needy death pit bull is sitting right in front of me. So I'm sure he is going to scamper in and out of the video because that's just what he does where I am he is and so this is just gonna be a quick video from Abel and I so let me tell you what I'm so excited to show you I don't know if you've made it to your local Dollar Tree or not or if your local store has put out um, their new summer collection it is called shore living and let me tell you, friends, I am so excited for the nice weather that we're having and all things outdoor living. And so I'm super, super excited um, to tell you that my local small town Dollar Tree did in fact have a pretty good amount of the shore living goodies in stock. So I'm going to show you what I brought home. This was from a shopping haul, um, actually just Saturday of this weekend. So let's just dive in to these goodies. Now you're going to want to stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna share with you um, a little giveaway that I'm going to be doing. These items that I'm going to be sharing with you in this quick Dollar Tree haul, I am gonna do um, a giveaway of a couple of the items, so stick around so you can see what that's all about. Okay, so let's dive in. And again, friends, most of these things are going to be the Shore Living Summer Accessories. They're all things beachy and nautical. Look at this super cute yard pick. Apparently Abel approves. And so this is just a pretty, pretty solid metal. Of course, on a metal stake. And I would say it's probably, oh, seven or eight inches in diameter. And I'm undecided if this is going to be added um, to my outdoor decorating or if I'm going to trim this down and use it as a wreath attachment. The great thing about Dollar Tree yard um, stakes is that you can use them for all kinds of crafting things, not just your outdoor decorating. So I grabbed this super cute sailboat. It's got a lighthouse off in the background and some birds. And the metal, if you can see that in camera, is actually raised. And so it's got a really good texture. I also grabbed this cute octopus. I think this guy is definitely going to go out um, near our swimming pool. I think he'd be a fun addition next to our sea turtles. But again, it's a textured metal. Um, probably This is probably seven inches in diameter on a pretty lengthy, probably 24 inch metal stake. So again, great for crafting or great for yard decor. And this is just the sailboat. It really kind of matches that first one I showed you pretty well. And it says, sailing with me. Again, textured metal, navy blues and whites on a 24 inch metal stake. And this too, I think is probably gonna find its way into a wreath. But I absolutely adored all of these yard stakes, friends, and I got um, just the three of them, but they probably had, gosh, I would say eight to 12 um, different varieties of these yard stakes. And if your Dollar Tree is like mine, they're here today and gone tomorrow. So if these are of interest, definitely make sure you get to your local Dollar Tree. They also had several of these wooden decorative signs. This one says beach and it's probably 10 inches in length and it's really thick guys. I would say it's a half to three quarters inch thick. I don't know if you can see that on the camera if that does it any justice or not. Um, and the front of it is painted to look like a distressed um, like shiplap board in a creamy white color. They had several other sayings um, and colors. I think that there was this particular distressed white. They also had a navy blue, and I want to say like a smoky gray. I probably have another one in my bag. We'll soon see. But again, this is all that um, shore living essentials decor. 
This one, again, undecided. You could really use this as a shelf setter. You could use this as a wreath sign. You could sit this out on your front steps leading up into your house with your planters and decor to go with a nautical beachy theme. You could drill a hole in this and add it to a sign, put it on a wall. I really feel like the creativity with this, these signs are endless and I adore them. They also have these really cute nautical decorative, they're calling them table decor friends, um, but they're nautical rope wrapped balls. There's really no top, bottom, or side. They're probably five inches in diameter. And um, so you could sit this on your table. You could tie this into a wreath. You could add this to your outdoor tablescapes or decorations. Um, it's pretty sturdy, pretty heavy, and the, the rope is really wrapped and attached nicely. And so I was super happy um, to grab a couple of those. Here is another one of those signs I had showed you originally. This too says beach, and this one is actually in a, is in a smoky gray. So it's identical to the first one I showed you, just the two different color options. So you've got this solid smoky gray, and then this distressed creamy white. So different color options there. I also picked up a couple of these um, nautical rope balls. So these balls, they actually kind of look like a pet toy, but they're not. They're decorative pieces. Um, and they're just jute or nautical rope balls um, with this nice two inch loop. So again, you could set this um, on your tablescape, on any outdoor decorative spaces that you have. This would be a great wreath attachment. You've already got the loop built in here. And it's probably um, four inches in diameter. As you can see, it's basically the size of my hand and just a really tight weave, really a good quality. So I grabbed two of those. I'm so proud of my dog. I don't know if you can see his booty in the corner of this camera, but he is laying down and taking a nap, which is exciting because usually he is super excited to be a supervisor. So I'm glad he's napping. Okay, and now we've got these little teeny sea turtles and Gosh, there's probably 10 or 12 of these little guys in here. These are just sea turtle wooden cutouts. There's no string attachment. There's no texture to the front of them. Um, so you could really do a lot of crafty things with these. And my vision for these friends, I actually grabbed a different variety, which I'll show you in a short bit. I'm actually going to paint these and then make a DIY tic-tac-toe board. For my patio and so the sea turtles um, will be one of the options for the tic-tac-toe board pieces um, when i make that project i'll make sure that i link a tutorial here on my youtube channel so that you can recreate that if you would like but how cute are those guys all right i also bought this fish it's meant to be a shelf setter. And just like those signs I showed you earlier, friends, it's a really good quality. It's very heavy duty, um, probably a half to three quarters of an inch thick if the camera can grab that for you. And probably eight inches in length. And it's got a little bit of a, a dip in, so it's made to look like three boards, although it's not. Um, and then there's a little rope tie around here at the tail. It's pretty securely attached, um, just some jute rope. And again, this could be a great shelf setter, wreath attachment, an addition to make a sign, something to hang off of your front, front porch decor, lots and lots of options. This guy may get painted and added to a wreath. We'll see how cute is this. So they're calling this wall decor. And just like always, friends, I'm very undecided if this will be a wreath sign attachment for me um, or a shelf setter, something to add into a front door swag or some of my outdoor decorative spaces. Um, it's a pretty thin board, probably a sixteenth of an inch, um, fairly sturdy. And then the front of this is made with cork and then it's got this rustic painted octopus on there and they had a couple of other different styles with different um, pi nautical pictures here 
forgive me, I don't remember what they had, but they were equally cute. And then uh, it just kind of looks like a door tag. And then there's an inch or so hole here with a thin rope tie that you could use. Um, I actually took mine off earlier because I'm, I'm probably going to add this to a wreath. But just a little tip, friends. If you don't necessarily like the front of this, the back of this would be great for any DIY sign making or tag making um, for your own decorative purposes. You could Mod Podge on this, paint it, add embellishments, lots of options. If you like um, the tag look, it would be great for that. I also grabbed a couple of decorative garden flags, and these two friends are both the Shore Living. I'm just going to open them and show you. There were several different types. I grabbed two. How cute is this guy? Just a welcome friends with a crab. I love things that are navy blue and white. I think that's such a cute addition. So I grabbed that and I'm just gonna hang that off of one of my flag poles outside. Although you could easily add that into a wreath as well. Or if you have a nautical themed bathroom or area in your home, you could easily add that there as well. And then the second garden flag that I grabbed is a couple of Adirondack beach chairs. And that just says relax. And so it's a couple of Adirondack chairs, some sailboats by the water, a cute little tropical drink, some flip-flops, all the feel-good summer feels and one little garden flag for $1.25. I also grabbed some of these starfish friends. These are, I'm not sure if they're some sort of a wood or really um, thick resin. I would guess resin, don't quote me. But they're just a turquoise and then I also grabbed a white, um, just a white star and they're, they're calling this wall decor. Um, I will most certainly probably use them as a shelf setter in my outdoor living space, or I will, of course, throw them on a wreath. That's what I like to do. I thought I grabbed a navy one as well. They had um, white, teal, navy, and like a deep burgundy red. So great additions for your summer decor. Let me just dig in here. I thought I had a navy blue one, but we're not going to trust my memory. Oh, apparently I did it. Oh, yes, I did. All right, so here's the navy blue one, friends. They're all the same size and width, probably at various points between a quarter and three quarters inch thick. So again, you've got navy, white, and teal. How cute would those be on a wreath with some navy blue? deco mesh and some tan burlap deco mesh that would be adorable we'll see what we create with that and then each one also has some thinner jute rope that's three or four strands thick at the top of your starfish and then it's got a pretty decent size probably a four or five inch loop so that you could hang those anywhere you might want to here's the second package of um Shore Living Coastal. They're calling them Coastal Icons. I thought I grabbed something smaller for my tic-tac-toe board, but I didn't. I grabbed more sea turtles because I love anything to do with a sea turtle. As you can see, they're basically nearly the same size as my hand. Now these bigger ones, friends, they do have a hole drilled through here. I'm not sure if the camera is capturing that. And so thin jute rope that you could use to attach them. So I think that these are going to hang off of a decorative tree um, out in my, my porch area. So I'll paint them or Mod Podge them and give them a facelift and add them to my outdoor decor. And they, um, Dollar Tree had just tons and tons of different varieties of these little wooden cutouts, friends. They had the sea turtles, um, starfish, different types of sailboats, um, I think that they had some seahorses. Let's see, I'm trying to remember. Just all different types of nautical shapes. Um, so you could really let your creative energy run wild with these guys. That is it, I believe, 
Yep, that's it for all of my Shore Living Decor friends. So let me tell you, um, I am going to do a giveaway probably um, on May 1st. If you would just drop a comment below and let me know what piece that you've enjoyed the most that I'm showing. Um, and then I'm going to do a random drawing on May 1st. And I will be sending some happy mail to someone um, by a random draw who leaves a comment below. A couple of other things I grabbed. Two decorative summer signs. Both I'm going to use in wreaths. This one says, Hello Summer. Um, it's 12 inches in diameter. There's lots of glitter on here that surrounds the lettering. I don't know if the camera's showing that. This is not part um, of the Shore Living Decor Friends. This is just their summer decor. Mm -hmm. And this is just a big orange slice with some rainbow lettering, lots of glittering around it, and it just says, Hello Summer. Very welcoming. That'll make it for a cute wreath. And then a similar sign. This one says, Summer Sweet Summer, and it's on a piece of watermelon. This is also 12 inches in diameter uh, and has glittering around all the letters. A couple of other things that I grabbed for summer are a package of, oop, I found some couple more pieces of shore living things here, friends. I got some, these are actually, they're calling them poly, so they're plastic, a set of three silver dollars. How cute are those? And they're pretty heavy, friends. They're just a solid white. They feel pretty porous, so you could decorate them if you wanted to. These will definitely be found in a wreath, I'm sure, at some point on my channel, friends. So keep an eye out for that. And then I also grabbed a three-pack of those same poly pieces that are in Starfish adorable I just I'm really impressed with the shore living line this year guys and if you've been around on my channel long enough you probably know that I love all things flamingo and they have these super cute tropical vibes 12 pack of paper plates um, I don't have my glasses so I can't tell you how big they are but I'm gonna say um, 10 by 10 square and they do have a dip down um, so they'll hold a, a good amount of um, snacks or whatever you want to use them for and again there's 12 in this pack and I also grabbed several packages of the Let's Flamingo napkins these are pretty good size there's 25 in this pack I'm gonna use um, most of them just for entertaining at my home this summer but one of them I'm going to reserve for a napkin Mod Podge project so stay tuned for that well, I'm sure you'll find that on my channel over the next month and they all look the same. They just say, let's flamingo. What a fun way to greet your guests when you have company in the summer. Of course, I always grab the 14 inch um, wire wreath frames. If you are a wreath maker at all and you um, have been on my channel for very long, you know that I use specifically the Dollar Tree 14 inch wire wreath frame. For the pancake wreaths this is perfect for that so anytime the 14 inch is in stock I always grab a few so that I have them in my wreath making stack <clears throat> so let me take a quick minute and show you friends the round most of the round decorative signs at the Dollar Tree really marry well with the 14 inch wire wreath frame so if you can picture that this wreath frame would be full of dec decorative mesh regardless of um, which method we choose, this round sign fits perfectly over this hole and overlaps by just a quarter of an inch for easy attachment, perfect decorating. So we'll definitely use both of these signs on the 14 inch wreath frame um, for some summer creativity. So keep an eye out for that. But if you're new to wreath making and just need a pro tip really quickly, uh, always grab a 14 inch wire wreath frame from the Dollar Tree to match up with any round decorative sign that you grab. All right, just a couple more things here, friends. I've been seeing um, lots of people post that they have found the Goalie um, chewable vitamins and supplements. Lots of people are posting the greens, but I actually stumbled on the Goalie apple cider vinegar container 
um, at my local Dollar Tree for $1.25. These have been on the market, gosh, I feel like for a handful of years um, and seem to kind of be the buzz buzzword in the world of supplements. And I've never tried them just because I didn't want to pay $20 for a container. But this container actually has 30 if you can see that. And so definitely the perfect opportunity to try this at a great cost. So you might want to check your local Dollar Tree and see if you can snag um, some of those Goalie gummies. I also found this super cute. I always like to keep really cute um, tablets near my workstation or my desk or my craft table just to jot notes in. And how cute is this, friends? This is just a 4x6 tablet that says, nope in some rose gold green and cream lettering with a rose gold spiral on the side and it's lined so that's a perfect addition just to have on my desk i hope you enjoyed this haul friends make sure you drop your comment below to be entered into the drawing for some happy mail thanks friends happy crafting